show it's 2020 our first show in 2020 and i'm so glad that we have such a great lineup today um amazing people all three people that do very different things i'd like to start by talking about carolyn devore she passed away on december 31st um she was a head of devore talent and casting and she pretty much recognized all of the locals that are doing things. She gave us all of our start. I uh, met her back in the 90s, actually, when I was a teenager, and um, she had gotten me into my first music video for Blink-182, all the small things. And um, so Claude Bell, Claude Ball, sorry, he um, was represented by her recently. All the people that um, I have here, they're represented recently. He said, thank you for giving me my start in the entertainment industry. Um, we have Alondra, who all these people have been on the show, by the way. Remember, she Alondra sang um, that song, um, and her family would like to express her condolences as well. Um, Alondra reminds me a lot of me because she started as a teenager, um, and Carolyn's there for the beginning, so it's really awesome to see that. Um, we have Matt Sconce who was also on the show, and he's been doing amazing things. He owns his own movie theater. So <laughs> she has really helped um, him out. Um, he directs a lot. So when a lot of people need local talent, she was the go-to person. Um, we have KP. He was on um, a couple months ago. Um, she mentored him. She was a mentor to just all of us. And what's really fascinating, and I want to point out about all this, is that she's – a female and this is still a male dominated industry and she's the one that really made it and paved the way for us and she was the biggest one in town for this and Debbie Goodman you guys can't forget her from last week um, that's Carolyn with Debbie so um, I had written about this back in the 90s when I used to have a column in the Fresno Bee I um, wrote some articles about all of the adventures. She got me on that snip, that show Snick House with Nick Cannon on Nickelodeon back when I was 17. Yes, that's 17-year-old me, and that's Nick Cannon. And every time I did an acting appearance, I would write about it in my column for Back Talk. Yes, this is back in the 90s when we used to read newspapers and we didn't have the internet. <laughs> and then we have my first ever was this one. Um, this was for the music video, All the Small Things. And that's when I was 16 year old. So this is my first um, article that was ever published, my first acting job ever on um, on video. That is um, my first televised acting event. This was Thursday, September 30, 1999. So long ago. Um, 
so yeah, it's really um, neat to have had these experiences. And you know, I have to thank her for getting me my start in the local scene. And then I, of course, moved to LA and did it on my own um, after that. But um, she helped so many of us. Um, we're really thankful to have her. Like I said, she's a legend and she was female and really helped us out a lot. So we just wanna say um, for the family um, that we're really sorry for your loss. It's a big loss for all of us. I still do not know when the funeral is. Isn't beautiful. That was her, like one of her first modeling, modeling jobs. So we just wanna say we're very sorry. We love her, we will respect her. She's a legend, so we'll always be talking about her. She'll always be alive. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Sparkle Sujin with the Everything Sparkle Show. Tune in every Thursday live at 4 p.m. You will see people that are motivational, inspirational, inspiring, and of course, entertaining. We have a great time. We learn things about how big celebrities are inspiring big names here in Fresno. Hugh Hefner is the reason we have Fresno Magazine and Gnarly Charlie got his start because Johnny Carson told him to. So, tune in, you'll learn something new and have a good time. Visit the beautiful city of Exeter and visit ExeterChamber.com. The Chamber's mission is to promote, support, and enable Exeter to prosper, creating a strong local economy, promoting community, and providing networking opportunities. Follow the Chamber on Facebook and Twitter or give the Chamber a call at 559-592-2919. PG's Catering for all your special occasions. Available to cook any variety of foods and desserts that will leave your taste buds wanting more. Call 559-558-2682 and follow Peaches on Instagram and Facebook. Is everything in life draining you? Come to Stretch 360. Our professional staff can offer you many options for relaxation like tissue or hot stone massages infrared medical grade sauna once you leave us you'll look and feel like a million bucks stretch 360 relaxation is only a stretch away call nicole hamilton mcmanus at 559-917-3040 to buy this perfect romantic rustic ranch with a two-home setup Located only 12 miles from the entrance to Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park, this beautifully maintained property boasts of amenities and custom features. The main home is a three-bedroom, one-bath, 1,670 square feet. The guest home is two bedrooms, one bath, with 1,163 square feet. Also features a 75-foot lap pool, a cabana, a beautiful garden, and two small nearby ponds. Call Nicole Hamilton McManus at 559-917-3040. back with Bobby, the owner of the 559 Flex. Bobby, you're the only woman in town that owns a supplement store. Yes. Yes, I am. How long have you had that going? Um, we're about three years now. So you used to have a location by Fort Washington, and now you're by GB3. Yeah, we moved out um, Kings Canyon and Fowler, right next door to GB3. So it's kind of good. We're right next to a very much needed gym that needed more supplements. Um, we take on a lot of the Sanger families and stuff too so that's right great. yeah everybody right I know from Sanger they go to that GB yes lady. yes so what made you decide to open up a supplement shop <laughs> uh, you know it's kind of funny it's always been a dream to be able to help others with uh, weight loss adventures fitness health um, being a mom of three, coming back from having three babies. Oh my gosh! And still being I, everyone in the world. hates you right now after you just said that <laughs> about three kids. Yes, you can have three kids and look like this. Yes, so it's possible, and it is possible. <laughs> and I want you know every woman out there to feel that way, or you know even husbands or boyfriends, whatever that go through it with their wives. You know, they you don't have to have a dad bod and be a dad. Thank God. Oh, my God. I can't. You just, like, took the words out of my mouth that I've been saying for the past two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, 
Whoever it sensationalized the dad bod. I mean, that was just to make their husbands look sexy or something. Like, something, yes. No, <laughs> um, so you have so much going on. Your competition life. Take us a little through that, like how long that's been going on, what you've won, and what you're working on. Okay. So um, I've been competing for about six years now. Um, started with my first bikini show. And it was just me telling myself that I wanted more for me. So tried it out, and once you try it once, you're addicted. Um, it's a really fun life. Did you win the first one? I, no, but I did play my first one. No, I didn't get called out. I didn't Wasn't get looked that hard? at. Was that hard um, to deal with? It was to very. To go to the next one and oh, be like, well, I didn't even oh, get the first. It was very mentally um, strenuous. So uh, you you definitely have to be prepared for it. Uh, I didn't even get looked at by a judge. How, so how did that, um, it how was did that okay work? because you know when you walk away you still say you know what I'm still one of the elite I'm still very good at this and I'll be back so it did take me another year straight of you know working hard in the gym uh, focusing on me my family and then I stepped back on stage and I placed top three and How long ago I was, was that, that you so st- happy. You started the first competition. Uh, first my first very first competition was about six years ago. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, this was, is all recent. I didn't. Okay. Yeah, Governor's Cup was my first one, and that was one of I don't know. It was one of the biggest shows out there, and it's a very very elite show. Um, but and that's you know, what you chose I just to do for the first one, Bobby. Oh my gosh. I, I I'm very much I'm notorious <laughs> wow. to jump. I, uh, that, I that's, that's a leap. That yes. is one. And then, so what was the one that you placed in right after that, the year later? Uh, that would have been a muscle contest. So um, that was a really good show. Muscle contest puts on a beautiful show. Um, yeah, and I placed, I brought home, I think, three trophies. So I was pretty stoked. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it comes, you know. And, and it was kind of cool because it was the first show my husband had done, too. Did so we too? both won, oh, and we nice. did really well. You know, we didn't bring home overalls or anything, but we did both place top five. So we were we were super impressed with ourselves and happy, and we feel that it, it doesn't just need to be one person that does it. So we're, you know, whether it's you want to compete or you just want to look good in that bikini because it's a million degrees in Fresno. So, you know, just being confident is the biggest thing. And that's what we at 559 Flex want everybody that walks in our doors is to feel comfortable in their own skin. And the more we can help with that, that's that I live for it. That's it. I love it. Wow. What was your favorite competition? My favorite competition? I want to say it's the one coming up. It's the one I'm I am digging deep for. And okay, I have been this? working 12 weeks now for it. So this one is coming up. Um, it's going to be LA Fit Expo. So we're really, really excited. It's the first wellness division in the U.S., so we will be the first wellness athletes to be on stage, and uh, we will only see what happens. And this is the first time they created that category. Yes. So this this category is coming out of uh, Europe. It's Brazil. Oh my gosh, um, that'd be and so NPC cool. decided, yay! Thank you, NPC, to uh, bring it to us. And um, you know, it's it's I I define it as one of the most beautiful women's bodies. So if we can do it, we. We're getting on stage. I so wish we could vote. It. I wish normal people uh-huh. could vote. I'd make everybody vote for you, Bobby. You're like, this is oh, so exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so Andy B. Fed, who's been on the show twice, yes. you said she's your coach? She is my coach. How long has that been going on? Um, I have been with and, uh, Andy three years. So she has definitely, um, she, <laughs> she actually helped me out with my second show. So I the one that you won. Uh, yes, exactly. See if you, you know, had her in the beginning, you might have won the first one. Exactly. <laughs> no, a, a good coach is definitely you can do everything you need, but you always need a second set of eyes. And um, Andy is really good at posing, and she knows how to show all of your good assets that you have. And after I worked with her. I was able to get up on stage more confident. I was able to show the judges exactly what I brought to the stage, and I came home with trophies. And uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm really excited to be able to go into the wellness division with Andy, and uh, we'll see what we can bring home. Was she supportive of your supplement shop when you opened up that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Andy is uh, She's definitely very supportive of the supplement shop. Um, but, but it kind of fits with my whole lifestyle, too. So. It's not, um, it's not just something that you do every now and then. 
it's it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. I mean, my kids yeah. <laughs> my kids move just as much as I do. Uh, my son has already done his first little teens physique. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, and Andy, Andy actually sense. put him through that show. And um, so, yeah, no. Where was that? Was that locally? No, that was uh, Mother Load. So that was in Reno. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that is so impressive. So it's kind of a family thing. So, you know, our kids are used to having supplement cabinets at home when they open up, and they all know what it is. And you know, it's, it's good. And so, you know, I've got an 11 year old who already turns labels around and he's making sure he's eating correctly for his wrestling. And so it's, you know, it, it's just a, again, it's a lifestyle and it is what you make it. What makes your supplement store different than some of the other ones around town? I think that 559 Flex definitely when you walk in, um, you feel more home. Um, you've got, when you walk in, you just, you're immediately comfortable. We sit you down, you know, people come in and they'll talk to us for 45 minutes to an hour and they will ask us from diet questions to supplement questions to some will just come in and get a protein shake and they just want to talk and they'll sit at the bar and just talk to us. So it's just really comfortable and I've kind of made the whole feeling when you do walk in that it's a warm inviting feeling um, we also have Manny the muscle man in there and he does massage therapist oh, nice. and cupping and he's phenomenal so yeah how much is that to get a massage? Oh my! Definitely DM him and hit him up. I know okay. He's running some New Year specials. And it matters, like, um, so we just gotta see when he's available. I'm getting yeah. That. So he's um, he's there about four to five days a week, and then he goes from there to Bakersfield, and he just works on lots of people. And he he's definitely opened up. Um, he's opened up my waistline. He's helped me out a lot what is going to help me out on stage for being able to he's really be more smart mobile. about making oh he's, that connect. that's good yes no he's very good so yeah so again so that's what we bring to from our store are you we guys still selling meats weren't you were doing that at one yes. point and i heard it was yes. really amazing i never yes. had to try it but i, I actually I know. did try it but not from you someone had purchased it and i said where did you get that they said they got it from you yes so we were doing um all of the you know meats and they would come in bulk they would come in like two pound five pound um, which was really nice, and it really does help, you know, the person out on the go. Um, but we kind of pulled away from it for a little while. We might be bringing it back. I'll bring it back. I know. I'll ever but I'm we'll pretty sure if you pay attention to 2020, we have some big things coming into our shop this year that are going to be really, really good. Don't keep us in suspense, girl. You right. better tell us what's going on right now. Right? Yes, if you leave here two months have, later, and then you're not <laughs> something amazing. We definitely have more coming in. Well, what so. can you tell us about? Uh, a lot more food. We will have okay. more food items coming into the store. That's really important. I mean, because I get asked, I'm a, a personal trainer is my day job. So I get asked all the time about where to go, what to do. And then I know um, some people were getting tired of the places I was sending them to with the prep cook meals. Yes. And I liked you because you had the meats. So you kind of just package the rest of it. But so, yes. so you're going to do some more stuff like this so I can send people to you to yes. get food? Okay. Yeah, we'll that's, have more stuff. I, I mean, get asked all the all the time about food. Right now it's really good because we have um, the whole bar of protein shakes. So you can come in and they are made with all organic vegetables, fruits, and- That's a lot um, to keep fresh. Wow, you guys, you guys really go good. the extra mile. Yeah, it's really good, but the shakes are amazing. And some people have a really hard time, you know, they, they don't like protein. So you don't even know you're getting what you're getting but well, I don't even know another right supplement shop gym. that does that really like that I mean I know that yeah. they make the pre-workouts at some yeah we do, do but that I didn't too. know that you were actually making a full after workout shake oh yeah we have acai bowls also that we're now putting protein and you didn't in bring me anything girl <laughs> I love acai bowls I, wish, so I had to bring them in for that I wish you would have brought one here oh my god I don't know if we have any pictures on your um Instagram you got we have an um, app for you guys to go look at and follow her yes. because you just have so much going on. Um, yes, we do. Like Andy has room, bikini line. Are you guys moving into that as well? Your active line, active wear line, or anything? like no, that? No, no, we're not moving that way. But I am totally in support with Andy's, uh, Andy B bikinis. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so yeah. but you're gonna, and that's what I'll be wearing on stage. Yay! Oh, I totally see custom that. fit to my motherly body. Oh, uh, woman, there is nothing motherly <laughs> about your body. Um. 
And then can I ask you a hard question? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I see like a lot of, sh I love the shift that's being made right now with um, female and weightlifting, all of this. There's a lot of people, and I don't know if it's just society or program, but they're like, oh, that's awful, all those muscles on a woman, it's so unfeminine. What do you say about that? And do you think it's just, I know we're kind of shifting culturally. What do you think about that? Um, to an extent, I agree with it. So my husband loves a muscly, fit body. Um, I have a almost 18-year-old boy, and he does not like the womanly, muscly woman. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's room for both of it. Um, you can have a softer look or a harder look, and I think it's really up to that person on how they're feeling. And what makes them confident in their skin. And that's what they should be. They should be soft or hard. That's theirs. Right. So um, I love both. I just wanted to. And I respect the muscles. I, and do I respect too. it. And because I know the grind that they have put and the hours. I, I mean, some people put more hours in on the grind than they do on their own paycheck. So, but they're investing in their own body. So, you know, I, I respect it, definitely, for sure. But then I also respect the other. I got two different men in my home that feel different <laughs> ways. So, yes. I just wondered if it was also society thing, because, I mean, I just worked out with an IB pro last week, and he was like, yeah, I don't like women with all the muscles, either like that. And I'm just kind of like, is it, do we feel like, do men feel intimidated by that? I don't know what the underlying um, yeah. issue is. And I was wondering, too, with myself, because, you know, people are always like, well, you can be, and I just... I didn't, don't have that dedication for that. I chose acting. I chose another insecure, <laughs> insecure field that where you're always being judged. So yes, always I chose, being judged for sure. I chose that instead. But it's like I have so much respect for that, and then I'm like, oh no, but I don't want to have all those muscles. I'm like, wait, why am I thinking that? Because I have a naturally muscle body. Like if I try to, I would get there yes. quicker than a lot of yes. other females. And then I'm like, why am I thinking that? Am I culturally getting messed my mind messed with too that I don't think. But yeah. I love it. I respect it so yeah, much. Yeah, like exactly. I, That's how I am. So I, I definitely I respect it. I love it. Um, my legs, I'll let them get as big as they want. Like, I love it. You know, that's I'm kind of known more for my legs. Oh, let's work um, out legs together someday, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no, I, I'll let them get as big. But they also help me on my day-to-day -day life. So, I love, you know, I surf almost five days a week during the summer. Really? I'm snowboarding. I'm always very active. So, my legs just grow because of lifestyle again. Wow. So you yeah. make it over to the beach and like surf? No, or... so we wake surf. So no, oh, okay. I'm in warmer water. That nice. Is <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. Um, do you personal train as well or is it mainly no. just supplements? You just, just supplements. You don't like um, the, just the, the day to day training? I just, I, there, I don't think there's not, there's, there's not more than 24 hours in a day. So hey, there's a lot, yeah, between, you know, I, I want to still have my time, and I love right. my gym time. And my gym time is also focused on I, all my customers and customers that have become friends and family, too. And when I see them, you know, that, that takes up a lot of my time, too. So I like that, you know, and I want to make sure that I always have that time available. And if I took on any more, um, I just don't think there would be enough. Um. Do you sell different supplements in some of the other supplement shops? We do. Um, we sell Global Formulas, which is probably our top seller um, for uh, pre-workout. It's very well known in GB3, Sunnyside location. Uh, it's OMG. Um, it's a very good, clean product. Um, in what way? How is it cleaner than the other things people are doing? So it just has more... Um, it's the ingredients are just better they're cleaner you don't have a lot of stuff to mask the flavor that your body would have to process to cleanse it so yeah but, but global formulas is really good we just brought on a new line um a gentleman out of bakersfield and biotech nutra and I've heard of that. this man is just he's blowing up and i'm so thankful that he has let our store um bring him on and he has everything from your BCAAs to pre-workouts to SARMs to just a lot of different supplements. And he's definitely, he is definitely going to be an up and coming for sure. Nice. Keep your eye out on that man. He's, he's in the works. 
So, like, the biggest complaints I hear about, too, with these supplements, is that they're so expensive. It's $60 yeah. for, like, every product. Do you guys yeah. have some cheaper options? We do. Definitely. <laughs> we, yes. Supplements can be very expensive. You almost need a job just for supplements. Right. So, um, but if you do follow either my page, uh, Miss Bobby June, or if you follow 559 Flex, uh, every week I throw a sale. Um... I did a whole seven days of Christmas where I gave a free product away every day. Nice. So yeah, no, we definitely want to help our community out and I know supplements can get expensive. So we also, uh, we have something called a loyalty program. And so every time you do come in and you spend money, you're actually racking up money. Oh great, so, it's kind of like um, GNC does that too, right? Uh, no, but it's, sure. Do they? It's, yeah, but oh, it's good okay. because, yeah. I mean, I'd love to go to, like, a, a you know, a low-key supplement store. Like I love there. it. And and it has come so in handy. We, you know, you, oh, I forgot my wallet. And then they're like, well, can you look at my loyalty program? Yeah, I'm so glad you And then they're like, you yeah, that. you have money. And they're like, I will take a shake. Or can I, I get I think this? you're the only, like, um, place I know that does that that's, like, a low, because you're just only one store, like, a yeah. non-chain that does that. But you again, coming from a family, you know, we're there's five of us in my family. I know money can get tight. And... To stay fit does sometimes, you know, it does cost money. Yeah, people need so, to come to support yeah. their local. Well, I'm so more about supporting the local over the corporation. That's the why chain. it's like I'm so yes. glad you guys, yes. you guys do yes. that. But no, we we definitely we want to help out everybody that comes in. So again, if you follow us, we're always doing either giveaways. We have huge sales going on through this weekend right now. So I mean, we're giving away free gym bags. There's a lot going on. I'm there. So <laughs> what? Um, yes. What's your hours again? So right now we have our winter hours. So during the week we're 10 to 8, Fridays 10 to 7, and Saturday 11 to 3. Okay. So and then summer we open up until 9. So we definitely we'll reopen back up, but we're still sitting. But I know everybody's new me right now. So let's keep that focus all the way through the year. Not and just till March. When people come in, do you listen to what they're saying? I'm not going to name names. It wasn't your store. I went into like a small supplement shop supporting the local supplements. And they, I said, oh, caffeine doesn't do much for me. I got something a lot of caffeine. But it had a lot of something else. So I went to my acting class. If KP's watching this, he's going to laugh. I threw up everywhere. Oh, no. I went to it for a workout. I did, actually, I did Andy B spin cycle after I took the supplement and I was feeling really good. Then I just started not to feel so good. So then I went to the acting class and when I was like up, that's what I'm like. I, so you started crashing. Yeah. And so, I, and I so threw that, up everywhere. It was <clears throat> awful. So if you come into our store and you kind of tell us, you know, I, I when anybody comes in, they're like, I want a pre-workout. I'm like, oh, what do you normally take? So I kind of have an idea of where right. they're at because I know my first adventure was with NO Explode and I was very young and I was with who is now my husband and I ended up pretty much dead in the bathroom and he was wondering where I had been so I know from experience that you know you kind of gotta you gotta figure out what they have already been taking yeah and then we put I hadn't them on taken something. anything in a while and I said caffeine doesn't do much really like I could do a high caffeine so then but it clearly had some other so, stuff in so it so there's that a lot of lot. new um, stuff that you know if you pay attention to your ingredients uh, a lot of the new pre-workouts have two different caffeines in them and it's really good because one hits you really quick and then the other one kind of you know sprinkles you on through your workout, which is really good. And then you have a lot of them that now have this nootropics in it, which is a good laser mind focus. And nice. what that does is with that ingredient, the caffeine will actually hang on to it. Nice. So it will slowly okay. bring you back down. So there's no hard crashing from pre-workout. Oh, that, yeah, that was the worst. Now I'm so scared after that happened yes, to me. Yes, Because I used to be more like adventurous, like, yeah, let's try it, let's no, try it. No, I'm, like, I'm not adventurous myself with pre-workout. Okay. Um, but I'm already a very, very energetic person. So, I mean, I go, go, go. And I'm like a kid. I will fall asleep in my spaghetti bowl. So I will go, go, go until it stops. That's what's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, no, I'm not as adventurous with um, pre-workout, but... But when you do come into our store, that's one of the things. You don't just come in and say, give me some pre-workout. It's like, oh, okay, what do you already take? What have you taken? What do you like to fill? Do you, you know, there's different things. And for me personally, the caffeine is fun when I have leg day. But other than that, I'm really focusing on how, how can I get the best pump where my skin feels like it's going to split. Like, I want the good pump. Because that's when I know I'm growing. That's when I know I'm burning fat. Right. So, so those are things, you know, you, you have to get to know your customers. 
Do and you we guys do, do know most of our customers. Meal plans as well, diets or not really? We do do some meal plans. Um, they run for about forty five dollars for two weeks, and then we reevaluate you. So, so yes. you should see changes within the two weeks. You so definitely should see ch uh, changes on a meal cool. plan within two weeks. As long that's as not bad either. Sticking to it and well, that, yeah, I mean, I mean that's cheap. Forty five for the two. But that's actually really good. Yeah, that's a really good price. Yeah. Oh, Bobby, you are so. F I could spend the whole hour with you. You're that exciting. Um. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank and you then for having you'll us. have to come on again and then after you're a winner of your, the wellness Ooh, category. Let's go. Can you come Andy you have to come fit. and talk about that? Yes. yes we're Andy super fit. excited. All right. We'll see what 2020 brings. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Are you thinking of selling your home? Since 2004, the Sousa Group, brokered by eXp Realty, has specialized in premier property listings and sales located in the Clovis Unified and North Fresno markets. The Sousa Group will do their best to exceed your expectations. Visit ClovisUnifiedHomes.com. If your home floods, who will you call? When your house springs a leak, it's time to call Clean Master Emergency Flood Service at 559-213-9430. Clean Master will be there in 60 minutes to start fixing your home. And Clean Master bills your insurance directly, saving you the hassle because you've got enough to worry about. Clean Master also offers carpet and upholstery cleaning, carpet repair, pet odor removal, and more. Remember, Clean Master Emergency Flood Service. 559-213-9430 and visit cleanmasterflood.com Pour yourself a glass of crybaby wine available at the market and Sam's Italian Deli and remember to ask for crybaby wine at your favorite restaurant. the higher good of food, right? You're growing a product that people enjoy really all over the world. I mean, how does that make you feel? I think about that all the time. I think about the families uh, sitting around a, a table enjoying a meal. I, I just see that what we do brings families together. I mean, we're blessed. We're, we're in paradise for, for food. The Kern family of the Kern Family Farm invites you to eat delicious, nutritious, organic produce available at the Gnarly Carrot. Located at 32954 Road 222 in North Park, California, the Gnarly Carrot is a local, natural, seasonally changing market offering a wide range of products from local Central Valley vendors. Get your caffeine fix, grab a smoothie, and support small businesses. Learn more at kernfamilyfarm.com and visit the Gnarly Carrot today. Doctor in Sukasa allows you to connect with your doctor when you need a quick treatment. Avoid a trip to a medical clinic or emergency room and connect by video with your doctor from your home, work, or anywhere. Just go to drnsukasa.com on your phone, tablet, or computer. Doctor in Sukasa provides quality care that is convenient, bilingual, and affordable, so you are never left without access to health care. Visit drnsukasa.com today. Central Valley Talk. Talk. Welcome back. With us, we have Bernard. Bernard, I'm so happy to finally have you on my show. I've been wanting you for a while now. <laughs> Thanks. It's nice to be here. So you're doing everything. Every time I see one of your works that's amazing, you've done a lot of amazing artwork, graphics. What is it that you do, and how can we hire you if we want you to do our stuff? Well, I'm a graphic artist. Okay. And um, I like doing movie posters, which is a really good thing. Like, I like um, editing photos and putting them together and composite them into one image. Um, most of the time, I did, most of the time I did like do a few illustrations. Oh, this was oh, yeah. so I love it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, wow, this you is really... this is my most recent work. It's for the upcoming film Above Snakes, um, directed by Tyler Smith. 
and um, produced by Jeffrey Smith. So, uh, yeah, I, I actually even played a small part in it. It's not a what? big... What? Really? Oh, now I gotta watch this to see you act. Yeah, it's not a big part. It's just, I just play, like, one of the townspeople in it, but I, I was, like, I had a lot of fun doing this show, and it's really fun. And it's coming out, like, I think the summer. I'm hoping that they're going to play it in the Maya because I talked to someone on the show and they said it might be in the Maya or oh, that would be it amazing. might be somewhere else. So somewhere. this is a full-length feature film. Yes, it is. How long did it take to shoot this? Well, it took, like, about, well, on my behalf, it took about, like, a couple weekends to um, shoot. But it took, like, perhaps, like, um, the first few weekends of November, last November, so. I yeah. love everything about it. The fade, you really made this look like a Western. This is, um, you know, the classic. I love it. Yeah, it was really nice to meet all the uh, members of the cast and everything, and I am so glad to work with them. So everything was really good in that point. So what are other, some of the other ones that you've done? <laughs> yeah, I know I that movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I have done Firefighter and um, Wolf Cadet. And even though I like doing those posters, um, I felt like I needed to do like a little bit more with the illustrations. And then when, I, when um, Chris Mackey, who did um, Wolf Cadet and Firefighter, he wanted to me to, to do a few um, others for a couple upcoming shows like... Um, Werewolf and Dragon go to Washington, and so you did that one too. Yeah, I did. Nice. I did um, that one and um, the um, Wolf Soldier, um, Enemy of the Wall, which I which I really enjoyed um, working very hard on, and it turned out that they turned out a little bit better than the designs I've done um, a few months ago or so. So, so they well, do. When you get this, do they tell you the vision? Well, we need this, this, and this. And then you just try to go with the vision they've told you. Do you put your input in? How do you make it work? Well, I do ask them what would they like most of the sometimes. Other times I get, like, the design idea in my head and I just start doing it. I, although first I like to play around with a little bit of the design so I could get the feel of what's going on. Then when I figure <gasps> out what I'm doing, that looks uh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, my my sister helped me with that one. That's actually who's in that movie? Anybody I know? Um, it says Donna Hamblin. I don't know this people. When Lowry. Ball. Well, anyway. Oh. Uh, well, anyway. And they're not. In the, they're not in the grid. <laughs> probably, but it's it's been directed by um, Michael X. Ro oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. We know him. So, He's been on the yeah. show. Okay. So I just didn't recognize the names of the actors. Yeah. On it. Yeah. Well, anyway, my sister got to help me on this one. This was actually one of my first um, designs that I did after I graduated from Fresno State. So, wow! Really? Yeah. So it's one of my um, first designs that I have ever done. Which, which you could see like the main designs, like what I did after college. Um, on did my, you use your hand as a well? Actually, hand? that's my sister's hand. She's the <laughs> hand model, and she also did like the makeup on it. I love it. That looks so amazing. Okay. Yeah, and also in the background of the that poster, she also held the knife, and I just took like the Im a quick image, put it up on. You guys had way too much fun. I can't believe you get paid for this. <laughs> well, most of it is just um, volunteer work, but I am starting One off. The movies at, are the bond, but you do personal work for people yeah it's mostly personal right now but um so but um but i am um, working um forward into becoming a graphic artist for film and entertainment frescon oh my god when was that that one that one i did was like from a few years ago okay like i think it, yeah back in 2016 after i graduated or on my way to graduation. You've been doing this forever. Yeah, like, I like doing this one because I have friends who um, put up the event every year. Um, and um, and what they wanted me to do was I wanted, they needed me to um, design, like, a banner for their Facebook page, put together, like, a few frames for, like, upcoming um, special guests that are going to be at the um, convention. And that was, like, one of the best times I'd done 
a, a project that is outside um, film and entertainment. Wow. Um, so if I wanted you to do something for me to design, I don't know, a flyer for me or um, a calendar, how much would that cost? Does it depend on like how much time you take and if it's animated or if it's with people? And yes, yeah, so, and mostly I um, mostly what I do is um, I go by how long it I, I take to do it. Like um, I would I would first like do like a few sketches or something like what I said I sometimes ask what they want in the design and other times it just comes up in my head see what I want to do and I mess around with it and um, put it up onto the document and it turns out pretty well every time I do it. Isn't it hard to know um, when you haven't seen the movie yet? Because a lot of these times you haven't even seen the movie. They're just telling you the concept. Yeah, like when I did um, Dark Lullaby, um, I had to ask uh, Michael to what he was doing with the movie, like what's the movie all about? And he says it was mostly about how um, there was this wo woman that got out of like a mental institute or something and she gets killed and her ghost appears and wants revenge for nice. what they what the people have done to her so yeah I I really enjoyed doing that one a little and I I really enjoyed doing like my most recent one which was above snakes which I I got to know like mo most of the cast members and everything it was really great working with them on Well, that project. had to be fun because you got an inner scoop when you were actually in the movie. Yeah. So that's amazing. Yeah, I, there were also like a few um, good shots that we've done. Like, um, like I, some of them I've done were like in a bar, mostly in a bar, but there was one when I was outside and I had to like run around a little bit in the scene. So, so are you gonna start acting now, Bernard? Are we gonna see more of you on the big I'm, screen? I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking of probably doing acting a little I'm bit glad. of voice acting. Like, like, well, like I said, like the last few times we met, I I do like to act sometimes. So, it is gonna be probably good fun. Anyway, I help out on uh, the films and everything. It's really great. Nice. I, I know you did a poster of me one time for Joe Cahill for that movie. You did one for all of his people, right? For which one? The um, the Joe Cahill movie, what, the lieutenant one, right? Because you're the one, I think, that did that, the poster. Didn't you do it for one of Joe Cahill's movies? I, Hasn't come out yet. He was, like, doing it for each actor that was in it. I'm not really sure. I... Well, anytime you did a picture of me on it, I think that's what I'm talking about. Well, I, I know I did it. one. I know I did a poster with you in it, mm -hmm. but then um, I find out that that film has been scrapped, and I well, was one like, of the picture, one of the films, on it. but it was fine. Yeah, yeah, just one of them. But it was a good poster. I mean, yeah, I, I pretty much did like a whole bunch of good ones, and I would like to um, keep on going out there and taking pictures of the cast because most of the time when I want to do a movie poster that someone want me to volunteer for and I asked them could um, the cast get together for a photo shoot and they're like it's going to be kind of hard to do that why don't you just use the photos we have on Facebook and go just roll around with oh, that. Oh yeah that was the one so you did yeah you did the double idea but then I thought you made a collage with that poster because that movie oh. was scrapped and then you did a collage, I think, for Joe Cahill, where that was in there, too. And that's when someone was like, oh, it got scrapped. Well, but that was a good poster. Well, I, I did mean, do did a, a collage poster. with that. Um, I did do a collage with that poster in it. Yeah, it that's, what I, that's what for, I was talking about. That was yeah, a Joe Cahill movie. Yeah, but I mostly did that um, for my um, portfolio. Because oh. I had, because when, I, um, when Chris Mackey um, had me volunteered for designing a few movies for or a few posters for his films, I decided to put it all in one um, project um, page so that way I don't have to continuously make multiple pages and just put everything that I have done during that time yeah. in one document. Are you looking into going into photography at all? Because would that help you into making that? Yes, it would. I have been going into photography a little bit. Like, nice. Like um, yesterday, well, not yesterday, um, but 
um, during the last few days of the of last year, I got a speed light, which could probably help me um, get the right color and light onto my subjects when I take their photos. So, so I'm been practicing with that a little bit. So, so far I have been getting a little bit of experience, but I'm hoping that if I get a little bit more um, experience with like shooting for for movie posters and stuff like that, it would probably help me in my career. Well, I think you're off to a really good start. Anything we can look forward to in the future, in the near future, that we should have our eyes out for? I don't know. I might uh, try and look into voice acting. Like I, I, I've heard that I have like a really good talent for acting with my voice. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, when I did the one you did the wolf and go to Washington, I mean that I had the really fun experience doing yeah. that. So I think that'd be great for you. So yeah. we have all your contact information. If we want you to do graphic arts for pretty much everything, or something you won't do, or you do everything. Um, it depends on what I need, uh, what they want me to do. Like, like if they want like a photo of something, I, I could say sure, and we could meet somewhere, and I could take the photos. No one's ever asked you to do a project where you're like, oh, I just don't know how to do it, or that's not really my thing. You've you pretty much mastered everything. Well, there done. was one time um, someone on Twitter, um, because I posted like a few illustrations that I've done for Twitter, and what, this one person asked if they wanted me to do this one certain um, image, and I'm like, eh, I'm not really comfortable about doing this certain image. Oh, is it a bad image? Sort of. It was sort of... Uh, it wasn't really like my um, type of imagery, mm -hmm. but it was like, yeah, I should have asked him if if the, he could have described the imagery first before I started agreeing to what to do. But for the most part, I mean, this is really impressive. I mean, for being young and just getting started, I, I'm really pleased with your work. Yeah, and if, if anyone wants to um, contact me, there is a contact page on my website um, that they could um, like send in like some sort of request for anything, and I could send them a message back saying, nice. "What would you like? When could we meet? Is there anything um, that you need me to do for the?" Yeah, like right there. Um, awesome. Sounds so, good, Bernard. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm yeah, so I'm, glad you finally. Yeah, I, made I'm it. so glad that I could get out there and. Um, be a part of your show today. Thanks, Bernard. salons in the Central Valley are not disposing of their chemicals correctly? Partner with us today to become an eco-friendly salon. Visit us online at greenbeautywaste.com. Our phone number is 559-367-7206. And be sure to visit us on Instagram and Facebook at Green Beauty Waste. When you need to get fit, contact Gary Torres, IFBB Pro, specializing in weight loss, body transformations, and contest prep. Email GaryTorres5336 at yahoo.com. Hey, I'm
I'm Christopher. Tune in every Friday night on CentralValleyTalk.com when I bring you Sex, Drugs, Christopher, where I'll give you three guesses on what we talk about. And I also vow to bring you one live local music act a week. So tune in every week because you never know what kind of music you're going to hear right here on CentralValleyTalk.com. The Space Colony Journals are an epic tale of a family's struggle to survive. Meet the courageous women and dangerous men who dare to carve a home on the alien world of Vensug. Get your copy today. Available on Amazon and Gail Daly's FineArt.com. With us, we have Donnell. So, tell us about your shop. Well, the name of my shop is Mr. Manicure and Company. Uh, I'm a new salon here in Fresno. Just started in August 1st of last year. Wow, and I love it. Um, the glass doors in the front look so pretty. Where are you located? I'm on Ashland and Willow, the southwest corner by Dutch Brothers. I don't live far from there. <laughs> okay, so what's your services? You really cater more towards men, more towards women. Explain some of the services you have. Well, it's a full service salon. Uh, there I provide styling, esthetician, That's so pretty. skin care, and nails. What about, um, do you trim beards and do that? Or do you waxing? Do you Brazilian well, waxing? What's... Yeah, there will be a barber there. Um, I did a soft opening. You see, the grand opening is February 1st. Of nice. This year. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so um, starting February 2nd after my grand opening. Then everything. It will be full services provided there, yes. Oh, my gosh. And you and the paraffin wraps, too? Well, we could do all of that. Okay. You so. know, I, <laughs> How many, okay, so you have people that do hair and manicure. Uh -huh. How, what's the staff like or will be on February? Mm -hmm. The staff will be, uh, will consist of a stylist and an esthetician and manicures. And that would be me and possibly one other person. You're going to do my nails? Well, if that's what you want. Uh, so I like the powder depths. Okay. That's the only thing that lasts for me because I'm a trainer. I'm very hands-on. I get it. Everything, the gel, everything chips away. Like powders, dip is the only thing that like will like last barely. <laughs> yeah, that is a, um, a new technique next to um, the gel polish. It's the same, you know, kind of like system. Last two to three weeks, it's a, it's a good um, application. So you're gonna have that. What about the waxing though? Like eyebrows, all that? Yeah, there will be a young lady or a young <laughs> gentleman in there that could provide that service, yeah. I don't know about the Brazilian <laughs> wax, so the man's gonna do <laughs> Well, I know that I am going back to school, so I will be going to get my esthetician license. So I might be able to provide those services pretty so soon myself. what made you wanna open this up? <laughs> um, I've been doing nails since 2012 and worked for a lot of people. Got my start in LA, West Hollywood. Um, nice, I'm from LA too. <laughs> okay. And um, starting this, I wanted to, for me, looking for a job over the years, you know, uh, and, and finding a home wasn't easy. Um, a lot of salons already have full staff and things like that, and there's not many in Fresno. So I opened up a salon so that I could provide a place for um, beauty professionals to have a place to build their clientele. Right, no, that's really good. I can't, so you're gonna go back to school, but you've already been doing this. What are you actually going back to school for? It would be for the esthetician license. And that's different than what you have right now? I have a manicuring license. Oh, okay, so you're gonna be able to do everything. Yes. Yes. What about the lashes, the individual lash extensions? Are you thinking about doing that too? Well, I've been talking to a couple young ladies trying to get them in. That's the business though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I 
came here looking for that. I mean, back when I was seeing lashes in LA, nobody was doing it. It was okay. very hard. I came back to try to find somebody to do them, and it, nobody was doing it. Now, everybody's got their lashes done. Everybody's doing it. And all these people that do the lashes are super buffed. They're booked for, like, days, and it's hard to get an appointment in. So... Yeah. Or you're gonna have some people that do that because it's super hard to get an appointment. I, I went to so many people before I could finally get somebody to do that. Yeah, yeah. So I will be having somebody in that could do that. But you're not gonna try to do it yourself. Well, once I get my esthetician license, I will be licensed to do that. You'll you'll be, you'll be doing it all. Yeah, so I I'll love be, it. I'll be doing it all. And so you are gonna have somebody to be a beer trimmer. That's something you're looking at, kind of like a classic barber shop with the haircuts and the trimming. I, I will have a barber in there also, yes. Because so many men have beards in this town, and mm -hmm. they're really mangly and nasty looking. Are mm -hmm. you going to try to, to clean that up? Well, um, there'll be somebody in there that can, but um, it depends on what you like. Some might like the mangly look, but... I don't. I'm going to start sending people to you. So you're okay. going to leave me a bunch of cards, and I'm going to say there is roadkill on your face. Please go to <laughs> Donnell so you can clean that up. Because you're very sharply dressed. I'm assuming you know you would know what to do when if I send a man in there, you could take care of them. Well, I, I could um, assist him in, in things like that, yes. Um, it's just always been a hobby of mine, dressing. That's, that's second nature to me. It's, it's pretty easy. Yeah. So that's something that when people go in, though, you can kind of give them some pointers and stuff about... On, on dressing? On, on the whole <laughs> shebang. They're coming there to look good. I... Yeah, this is the beauty industry we're in, and um, I have to be an example, so I, I do try to present myself that way. Yes. Yeah, your hands are nicely manicured, so you obviously don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and, um, I mean, do people ever come in with, like, bad feet, too, and you're like, you should get that, like, they'll come in for the manicure, but then you notice they need a pedicure and talk them into it and be like, you need to get that done, too? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't do that. So if, if they came in wanting that service, I'll let them know. But one thing I won't do is point out a flaw. Well, Especially I, not on, on a um, lady. Not on a lady, but yeah. some men need to, like, really step it up. It's 2020, mm -hmm. and they need to come and get all these services. Well, well a lot of men are getting pedicures. I, I know a lot of men that ask me to um, give them manicures and pedicures. So, uh, yeah, men, men need that service, too. Yeah, when I was in L.A., um, you know that movie Rocky, the guy that played Polly in it? He would always get pedicures, like, when I was getting pedicures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it's like, I know, like, because you're from L.A. too, like, you know that people dress and keep it up a notch. Mm -hmm. But I noticed in this town, there's a lot of, like, slacking off. And I mm -hmm. had um, a designer, Javier, come in here and do, a, like, how men need to dress and everything. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. you're going to be, I send people to him when they want to have, like, ties and suits. Yeah. I'm going to start sending people to you for <laughs> all of that. Yeah, you come get the full groom. And I'll give you some pointers on your outfits, too, if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You could, you could just look at me and, 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 <laughs> and see what you might want to do. That's mm -hmm. great. So you're going to help men and women. Yes. This is the one that has, yes. that has both of them. Yes. So mm -hmm. what's going to be for the grand opening um, on the second? What time? Do well, the grand fun? opening is the first. Oh, the first, uh, the first, the first, the first. First of February. February. What day is that? Um, that would be a Saturday. Okay. Um, I plan on having a DJ there, uh, a little bit of food and refreshments, and just getting to know me and my business neighbors around the area. So just, just want to have an inviting uh, environment so that people could feel comfortable and let them know what I'm trying to do for the community in the area there. What time does that start? Um, it will be 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. Okay, so every three hours, get... Listen to some music, have some other So I'm going to come. And so is there any, like, um, promos that you like, if somebody wants to service right then and there, or they just have to come back for it? Well, that that time is just for the grand opening. Yeah. We're starting uh, and February if, 2nd. So what if I look at everything and say, hey, okay, I want a manicure tomorrow? You come on in. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> I like to get things right in there, don't know. You seem like, I'm like, let's do this, let's Every, do that. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. That's so mm -hmm. cool. And what are the prices, like, approximately, like, for mm -hmm. um, the services? Well, I think I'm pretty fair on my pricing. Uh, now, I might have to say that they're going to go up eventually, but I'm just starting. Um, 
25 for a full set of acrylic nails. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yes. You know, of course, the add-ons would cost more. Right. Um, 25 for a pedicure, 30 for a gel manicure. What about the dip? How much is that going to be? Um, that would be 35 That's average, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then for haircuts... Well, that would be up to the stylists that, okay. that that are in there and what their prices are. But I'll talk to them to make sure, you know, they understand what I'm trying to do. Are you guys going to also do dyeing, hair dyeing, or just cuts? It will be full service. Oh. You can get whatever you want. Well, you keep saying that. I'm just like, oh my, I'm overwhelmed yeah, by all the it's, possibilities. It's, it's just like a, a regular beauty salon, just owned by Mr. Manicure. What kind of music? Well, you know, I like smooth R&B. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah. That's actually big because there's just way too much country music in Clovis. So mm. I want to come listen to some music. Okay. Yeah, because that's, that's what I like. Um, even though I'm right before you get to Clovis. Uh, That's what I was going to say. It's in that, like, little, yeah. you're almost in Clovis, but, yeah. like, Fresno still. It's right behind Blackbeard's. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my storage unit's over there. I know exactly yeah. where. I love it. And you're by, kind of close to, um, oh, they just moved Costco. Because Costco used yeah, to be there. Yeah, I think area. it's where it used to be. Oh, Costco used to be. Yes. That's where you're. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, Noel, well, thank you so much for coming in. I can't wait to check it out. I want to be there Saturday the first. I hope I'm not booked at my other job because a lot of times I'm at that time. But if not, I'm gonna come in and see what you're all about. Okay. Well, you know I appreciate you and thank you for inviting me onto your show.